on the road to Vegas. We're not too far out. We just stopped for some lunch where I had a delightful beer. And I'm able to do that because I've been chauffeured around all morning because I'm not allowed to drive my car. Mud, mud, mud. Cheap bastard wouldn't buy tickets, so I'm driving. Thanks, Mr. Mud. Oh, no, no. Thank you. Bought myself some tickets to Penn and Teller tonight. I'm pretty excited about it. We've been seeing a few billboards for places already coming into Vegas, but so far nothing that we were planning on going to. So, so far so good. We'll be in Vegas soon. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, the fakest city on the planet. We've been here all of a half an hour and I think I've seen ads for about half the major resorts in the city. These companies spend millions of dollars advertising this gigantic hedonistic never ending party in this city. Oh, fuck you, dude. Well, this looks pretty nice. Uh, I decided to take a chance on an Airbnb instead of a resort hotel because I figured it's less likely that I'm going to see an ad for this place and pretty likely that I'd see an ad for any given resort hotel. But it looks pretty nice. So this is where we're going to be staying for the next few days. Be honest, Mud. Did you just see that Penn and Teller billboard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw the billboard. <laughs> Who sucks to be you, buddy? I mean, come on, man. This is, I mean, it's $85 non-refundable, non-transferable tickets. I sort of saw a billboard for Penn and Teller, <laughs> so I kind of can't go. Bummer. You got your money back for the ticket or? No, they're non-refundable and non-transferable. Worse yet. Well, uh, it's going to be a good show and uh, I'm going to go enjoy it. All right. Okay. You going to be here? I don't know. Okay. You want to go out for a drink later? Yeah, that sounds good. I'll tell you about the show then. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, I will. I guess you guys want to go to a strip club or something? I just saw this sign here. This is the card that I used to buy these drinks at the Mini Mart, and it's a Chase Visa and it's my credit card, and I don't have another one, so I'm kind of screwed here. I don't really have any buying power in Las Vegas other than the cash that's in my pocket. Right, so hand it over, buddy. I guess this really sucks, so fuck you, Chase. <laughs> All the advertisements and everything that they say about it is really true here. It's hard to miss any kind of advertisement out here. Everything is an advertisement. Uh, the buses, the taxis, people are walking around with signs. Everything is trying to sell you something. What is this a commercial for? I have no idea. Oh. Fuck. Airbnb. That was an Airbnb. Didn't you rent, didn't you rent this through Airbnb? Yeah. All right, Mud. You're gone. Are you serious? You are gone. Dude, Airbnb came on. You booked this through Airbnb, so... Fuck. Okay. I mean, it's, uh, it sucks that it's 11 o'clock, but... I have no idea where I'm going to find a hotel at 11 o'clock at night. I have less than 60 bucks, and it's 11.30 at night, and I don't have access to my credit cards, and I'm not really sure where I'm going to go. I... Well, while you start looking, I'll give you a ride. I mean, I got no problem giving you a ride. All right. Okay. But we still get to stay here, right? I mean, you guys aren't part of the experiments, as far as I'm concerned. You guys can stay here. But I guess I gotta go. Okay. I think I found a place. It's uh, it's called the Motel 8. It's right on the Strip. Um, I already called them, and they said that they don't take reservations. So I just kind of have to show up and see if there's a room available. He said there was, but like I said, no reservations. Yeah, how much was it? Uh, it's 35 bucks a night, according to Google. Oh, it must be a nice place. Yeah. It actually says one-star hotel on the listing. I don't think I've ever actually seen that before. Hi, good evening. Hey, I'm interested in a room. Oh. 
Oh yeah. This is nice. I, uh, pretty impressed with what 40 bucks can get you on the strip in Las Vegas. Uh... Well? I mean, there's no time like the present. Like this completely sucks. I mean, like the place is the place is obviously a dump, and uh, you know now I'm again paying double for something because I already have a room to stay in. I already have a room on the other side of town, perfectly nice, and uh, and now I'm paying forty bucks a night to stay here. I'm pretty glad that this thing is coming to an end as soon as it is. That's 40. Okay, so I'm, I'm a quarter up right now. 25 cents. Honestly, I don't think I would have believed you guys if you had told me that at the end of this thing I was going to be in Vegas with no money, no credit cards. I slept in the shittiest hotel I've ever been in last night. I haven't had anything to eat today. And I literally used the last money I had to buy this beer. I'm tired, I want this to be over, and I'm, I'm ready to go home. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three. That's close enough. This is the end of the experiment. I'm freaking starving. I could not be more glad that this thing is over. We've got this for you. Oh, oh, oh yes. This? Yes. I know you're starving at McDonald's. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Enjoy, my friend. Well, I took a way that I actually was able to accomplish what I set out to do, and that was, you know, to avoid everything that gets advertised to me for a month. I mean, it was really difficult, and it cost me more money a lot of the time. But I think deeper than that, I learned that I shouldn't just be avoiding companies because their ads annoy me. What I should be doing is educating myself about these companies, finding out what they're doing, because, like it or not, when you give a company your money, you're supporting what they're doing, good or bad, throughout the world. And I think that pretty much the only way you're going to be able to have influence on a company is by choosing whether or not you want to give them your money. Now leave me alone. I'm going to drink my new Belgian beer and eat my McDonald's cheeseburger. This stuff is so good, I could go a month eating nothing but McDonald's. <laughs> 